Ernest the Barber from Oakland, California. Went to Castlemont High, graduated 05. Went to the Brothers Barber College in East Oakland. Uh, the school was good, man. I mean, I learned a lot. When I got there, the school had only been open for about seven years. And so, uh, you know, I feel like I came in at the right time. I think it was around 2000, 2013, maybe 2014. I work at uh, Lucky's Barbershop in downtown Oakland, 10th and Clay near Swan's Market. My specialty is tapers. You know what I mean? Coming from the town and being from the town, you got to be able to, to hook up a nice cold taper. You know what I mean? You, know, you got to have your signature out there, you know, people to be able to see it. Prices, you know, standard cuts start off at 25 bucks. Um, you know, you want to implement, you know, the beard trim on top of that is 30 bucks. You know what I mean? Pretty standard. So anybody that wants to become a barber, you know, you just got to hustle. You got to grind. It's got to be more than just the money, more than just about money. It's got to be about the people. It's got to be about the connection. You know what I mean? What are you implementing? In your services every day or how you move in your business to, to help propel you to the next level you know what I mean like how do you impact your city how do you impact where you are wherever you you stationed at wherever you placed I always wanted to be my own boss you know growing up I didn't really hear about too many people wanting to own their own businesses and I didn't have anybody around my in my circle like that so uh, being a barber you know coming from a background of uh, working for someone. I used to work for FedEx. I know what it's like to work for someone else's dream and not work for my own. So I wanted to kind of tap into my own, you know, my own situation, my own business. You know, being a, the thought of being an entrepreneur was uh, real big. The best benefit I would say is learning to do for self. Uh, you know, you only the only person you have to depend on is you. And knowing that, from the gate you know it starts back when you know you decide to make the decision to go to school to get your license you know it's all about you it's all about the work that you put in um, that, that that struggle every day to be there you know in school learning textbook uh, practical you know what I mean like everything that's a, that, that, that goes along with learning the craft uh, I've heard about different barbers in the town. I've heard about, you know, bad cuts. I've heard about people getting cuts that, you know, they didn't necessarily want because of a barber messing up their tapers or fades or whatever. So for me, uh, I take this serious. Um, I take it so serious that when a client gets in my chair, you know, I'm not going to impose uh, what I think that you know, what would look good on the barber, I mean, what would look good on the client. Um, if they, well, if they ask my expertise on the matter, then that's a different situation. Um, but at the end of the day, you give the client what they want. Um, you listen to the client, you, you know, you're a therapist in a way. Well, I mean, there's a few ways you can get in touch with me. Uh, I do have social media outlets that uh, allow people access to me. Um, one is Instagram. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is uh, e underscore so sharp, um, and I'm also on a booking site platform called Books. You can uh, reach me if you look me up as Ernest the Barber. You'll find me. Uh, you can look me up uh, with my uh, uh, my username easycuts1.booksy.com.